How's it going? I'm back here again this morning now with another video. I'm just up here in the cab and shed here now with a few cows. That cow there from the last video, she calved there along the week and with three others calved there as well. Lad here getting a bit of a suck for him. The four of them calves now are by our second oldest bull. Um, nice calves enough now, handy enough size. That wanted a bit of a pull, she was sort of fatting herself. <clears throat> so, but these lively calves enough. Um, I just see, you can see it there, and that lad's front legs are slightly bowed. Knuckled forward, I suppose you call it, on the knee. But maybe it should be. Some say selenium has something to do with it, but we'll look into that there anyway and see. Maybe it is some sort of mineral deficiency, I'm not 100% sure, it would be an odd one like that. Um, some say a selenium or something, that's give them a selenium injection. But maybe we should see about bolus and the cows or something with selenium there or something like, have any of you guys seen anything like that? Um, just a bit bored in the leg. In the front legs, like nothing exciting. It comes right after a week or two anyway, like, but you'd rather see him without that. It just leaves him a little bit slower and trying to get up, I suppose. But yeah, just drop a comment there if you've come across anything like that. And um, it's nice to know what other people are doing and, you know. I just changed these over now to a new square of ground here, let him graze it off. These are the cows and calves up in Sherwood. Everywhere's gone very mucky there now. A lot of rain last night, especially around the feeders there and that. Um, but yeah, ah look. That time of the year with the ground out in the field is not too bad, so they won't be a bit, a bit messy around the gaps here, but sure. We'll live with that at the minute anyway, but we're getting them out a nice bit of a cover of grass on it there now. Won't last them that long now, but sure look at we we'll keep moving around anyway the way that we won't plow the fields too much anyway.
Yeah, we got them heifers down there. Um, uh, we got them down there with uh, Covex and 10 there for the black leg. Just a two mil shot there. Um, just run them through. And just as we're going through them, we're just weighing them there as well. Um, last year's weanlands, they were from 395 to 430. And on grass, and they were getting about somewhere in the region of a kilo and a half of meal. They were putting on 1.1 kilos a day. And then there was four older heifers that were um, <clears throat> too light there, and we finished the others. They were from 4.95 to 5.35, and they put on a similar weight gain there. Um, yeah, so happy enough with the way they're doing on grass, and the grass as it is, like, is, um, you know, a bit... Yeah, we done them heifers there, we're vaccinating them there. Um, doing them for the black leg, using Covex and 10. Um, we got through them there, it's handy enough. It's only a two mil shot there under the skin, so we flew through them. As we're doing them there, you see in there, we're weighing them as well. Um, last year, or this year's weanlands, um, they were, the waist, they were uh, 395 to 435. And they were gaining about 1.1 kilos a day which is happy enough, like they're not getting an awful lot of meal, they're getting about somewhere around a kilo and three quarters a piece. Um, there was four older ones then, remainder of last year's, we let them run there for the summer. They were 4.95 to 5.35. They were putting on a similar gain as well of 1.15. Um, happy enough, yeah, with the way they're doing, with the grass that's in it. Um, at this time of the year, like, but seem to be doing fairly well on it, like, Getting, look at her getting a nice little bit of meal there as well to keep them tipping along, but not a major amount. Um, so yeah, happy enough with the way they're gaining. Um, they would have got, they had their booster um, for pneumonia there as well. They would have been all vaccinated as they were calves for pneumonia. So just a bit of a top up or a booster there as well. The last time they were in with the first shot of the Covexin, so. Yeah, so they should be should be good to go there for the shed and should we be getting the bulls in now over the next day or two there now as well to get them get them done. Um get them done for the black leg and there's a few of the bulls now will want their second because of their second vaccination for the pneumonia. They weren't um down here they would have been just get got her original shot. They would have just got their first shot of the vaccine, so there's about two or three wants to be done, given the second, the second boost or so. That's the young bulls here. We have them up on the rye grass here now. Um, happy enough. They're content over there. They're all lying down. So that's always a good sign when they're down like that. There's no major upset on them anyway. So yeah, seems to be happy enough up here on this now. They're, <coughs> they're staying up in it fairly well. They have it. Run of another field down there. We have the feeder down there, so it's an older sod. So it should um, stand up to it a bit better now. If we had the feeder up here, it'd really go to the knees in it. So, yeah, this weather now is starting to come in again now. It's raining up here again. So, look at the video here now. Um, <clears throat> sure, like and subscribe, and to drop a comment or two, and sure, look at. We'll see you in the next one. Good luck.